Hey, I'm Joe Cortez of FrontRowPreps.com, joined by my colleague James Burns, and we're here at the Corral in Oakdale, California, site of this week's big game between the Central Catholic and the host Oakdale Mustangs, but we'll get to that in a minute. Before we start our predictions, brought to you by Golden Bear Physical Therapy, we want to make a little announcement here at Front Row Preps. We're pleased to uh, let the fans out there know that for the playoffs and then hopefully through the uh, winter sports calendar, we're going to be joined by none other than our old newspaper colleague, Ron Augustini. Ron, get in here. How you doing, Joe? Uh, great, you. great to have you. This is Dave, like a big free agent doing, signing, man? you know? Yeah. We have some exciting We, plans. yeah, it's a we. It's a, now we it's a we thing, thing. <laughs> and it, it's, it's going to be great. I can't wait to help you. It's a we that you said that here at, at Oakdale High, you know. Yeah, make that the first time. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you mentioned the playoffs. Uh, that's next week. A lot of games going to determine what the playoff field looks like. Let's uh, do our predictions again, brought to you by Golden Bear Physical Therapy. As you fellas know, anywhere you can watch high school football in the front row region, you can find a Golden Bear Physical Therapy facility. Let's start with the WAC. We've got a big matchup between the Los Banas City rivals, the Crosstown Clash, Los Banas versus Pacheco. Pacheco, uh, un well, undefeated in league, yeah. and they just knocked off undefeated Mountain House to take the uh, Catbird seat in that league. They're taking on Old, uh, old rival Las Banas. Las Banas needs to win to get in because there's a lot of there's a lot of machinations going on out there. Who do you like in this one, Bernsey? I like Pacheco in this one. You know, Los Banos is red hot. They've won three straight. Dasani Tate, since the move to quarterback, has revitalized that offense. They're scoring points in bunches. Uh, but this has been the best team in the WAC all season for the Pacheco Panthers. They've got the best player in the league in Marcus Ordonez. I think the Panthers get this one done and they celebrate their first ever outright league title. Ron. Put you on the spot right off of here. Just to be contrary, I'll take the, the original school <laughs> in Las Vegas. I'll go with the Tigers on this I'm also going with Pacheco in this, but for all the reasons James stated, I think they get it done, wrap up that league title. Doesn't mean Los Banas is out, but it's going to be kind of, it, it's, 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 yeah, they're, they're going to have to bite their nails a little bit. Okay, moving on to the Trans Valley League. We've got a big game between Modesto Christian and uh, Rippin, Rippin High School. What do you like in what this a, one? What a matchup. The TVL's been incredible this year. Yeah. It's been the best. It's, it's, been, the it's, best. Been, it's been the best. These teams have just gone back and forth. Um, I like uh, I like Rippin. They, I like Rippin in this game. Uh, I think they're gonna. They Ron's bounce already back the last contrarian. week. I know. Yeah. He's I been know. on board for what three and a half minutes, and he's already the contrarian. I am. I am. What can I say? <laughs> Burns, who do you like? Hey, the Indians bounced back from that tough loss to Escalon yeah. uh, last week and, and really kind of put themselves in position to earn a title share in this one. But I just, you know, learned my lesson picking against the Crusaders. Me and, too. And against Hillmar. <laughs> Me yeah. too. Uh, they yeah. won that game against Hillmar without Xavier Carlton. They're going to be that at full key. strength, and they're coming off a bye. I think they're going to be ready for this one. There's no overlooking it. They understand what's at stake. I think 10-0 is important to this group. I think the Crusaders get it done. For, for the reasons you stated, I like the Crusaders in this one. Moving on to the game that will be played here at the Corral. Uh, this one has become one of the best rivalries in the region yeah. in just a few short years. Central Catholic only loss this year is to powerhouse de la salle taking on oakdale high at the beginning of the year we were kind of sour on oakdale we thought well maybe this isn't their year if it's a down year oakdale looks like oakdale again yeah. and uh Bernsey up for grabs here is this spot on the board we're, we're going to decide whether they get to put a 2018 up there or not yeah do they do it it's going to be tough joe like you said the only team to beat Central Catholic this year was a national power. Uh, here's the thing, though. The Corral has always been the great equalizer. Oakdale is 91-7 in the last 98 home games. The last VOL team to beat Oakdale at the Corral was Manteca in 2013. Yes. That's the year they five went to the, years uh, ago. North Cal title. That's five years ago. Uh, so, you know, the, you can't underestimate. You can't overlook the power of the Corral, the power of the Mustang fans, what it means for this group to run out on this field. I think the Mustangs can keep this thing close and give themselves a chance going into the second half, into the third quarter. But I think by the end of it, I think Central has just got too many weapons and they're going to they're gonna walk off with a victory. A rare victory as a crowd. Ron, Oakdale's coming off a bye. Do you think that's going to help as well? It'll help them get ready for this game. And uh, the home field advantage here at the Corral is incredible. But I like the Raiders. I, I think they're going to find a way to, to, to get it done in what's going to be a very close game with some drama, for sure. I mean, here's what you have to consider about this game. Oakdale is coming off a of bye week, but essentially 
Central has had four straight bye, bye weeks. weeks because it, of the it inferior was opponents the, they played. The soft part of their schedule yeah. really set them up, but they didn't play DeWine McNeely on the offensive side of the ball last week, and they still rushed for 405 yards against Kimball. Uh, you know, they, they were they were pointed towards this game all, I know. all season long. So. I know. And I wrote a story earlier this year about the, if you had one coach to uh, coach a game that your life depended on, who would it be? That story focused on Trent Merzon, the coach here at Oakdale. Coming off a of bye week, Merzon, the corral, all those factors. I'm still going with Central yeah. Catholic. Uh, now, our game of the week, the front row preps game of the week. Turlock, the Harvest Bowl. Mm-hmm. Undefeated Pittman, 9-0, and unbeaten in league, taking on... Undefeated in league, Turlock High School at Joe Debley Stadium. Bernsey, who do you like in this one? I like the Bulldogs. I like the Bulldogs. You know, I, ha- I haven't had a chance to see Pittman. You have. Uh, and they've got a lot of nice pieces. Peyton Bass is, is a game changer. Uh, Trayton Fair has done a phenomenal job under center. Uh, I mean, you win nine straight games, you're doing things right. Okay. Uh, I just like Turlock's strength of schedule. I think that... When, when you stack that front end of your schedule up, you're, you're playing for games like this. You're playing for the playoffs. You're playing for championships. And I think with one of the, the strongest strengths of schedule in, in, yes. in their division, yeah. that'll, that'll, that'll come to fruition on Friday night in the Harvest Bowl. I think they win a tight one. It's going to be a wild one. It should be explosive. I think you're going to see a lot of great plays on both sides of the field, but I think Turlock uh, stands victorious in the end. Ron, who do you like in the Harvest Bowl? I had the chance to do Harvest Bowl games in my final years at the beat. That game has become one of the jewel games in our area it every is. year, almost, almost every year. And Turlock's putting together an historic season. I kind of like the Bulldogs, too. I, I think they're going to hang on and, and, and win a, a, a great game in the Harvest Bowl. I'll tell you what makes me hinky about the Bulldogs. I watched them play a couple weeks ago against Downey. 18 penalties, six fumbles, four of them lost, three of them in the, in the red zone, and then they turned the ball over again on downs in the red zone. Uh, they had 19 penalties again last week. They just don't play a lot of clean games. If they play a clean game, yeah. Turlock is my pick, hands down. So what do you think? I think they're going to play a clean enough game this week to beat Pittman. I'm going with the Bulldogs as well. So that's it for our weekly predictions brought to you by Golden Bear Physical Therapy. And remember, guys, anywhere you can watch high school football in the front row region, you can find a Golden Bear Physical Therapy facility. For James Burns and Ron Augustini, I'm Joe Cortez. Thanks for stopping by. Back together. (laughs) That's right.